Welcome back to TNM. It was um, maybe 50 every week. Wow! 50,000? For sure. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what? Pella Life was like almost around that amount. So this guy was giving you 50k a week? Yeah, just to a stay at home. I wasn't a DJ. I wasn't really an influencer. I wasn't hosting. As long as I'm staying you home. out. You bought out. Fuck. You know, if you're an influencer, you need to be bought out. There's no way I'm going to stop influencing if you're not going to give me this. Mm. You have to buy it out. Okay, San Bridgie, what an interesting episode, right? Now, I must say, she is beautiful. She's a beautiful young lady. But I will say also, Deboho was just throwing subtle shade, shade, you know, jabs throughout the interview there. Now, I'm still in shock, you guys. I am still in shock. What have we just uncovered here? I mean, she just spoke about a whole 50K a week. That's like 200,000 a month, right? Just in girlfriend allowance. That's easily a senior manager's salary of like three to four months, right? So I couldn't believe what I had just heard. Now, she also reveals how that relationship ended. Staying at home, I wasn't a DJ, I wasn't really an influencer, I wasn't hosting. As long as I'm staying home. You bought out. You bought out. You didn't buy out Oh man, it was just like more of uh, overprotectedness. I wasn't free to maybe be with other people, my family and whatever. And... Since it was my first bag, I wasn't also comfortable, no. you know, in... You know say? No. So when you, you just used to think about the 50 now. Yeah, it was just more about money. But I think okay, so I'm not one to judge, but it all looks like there's a price to pay here. Um, here she is making all of that money, but there is so much restriction from seeing her family, her friends, and not being allowed to go anywhere. And still, she has to play this role of stay-at-home girlfriend and still have to, you know, lay down with this man who she clearly isn't connected to emotionally, which is a very, uh, you know, scary price to pay, if I might say so myself. Okay, so she touched on a lot of other things. Um, she spoke about um, her pay rate as a DJ per hour, um, as one of her other income sources, as well as a toxic relationship that was messy, uh, that ended with her Nigerian boyfriend. I will say she's lived a very unique life at her young age, you guys. Now, would we still say this is securing the bag or is it giving high-end call girl here? So do let me know your thoughts down below and let's keep it respectful. But that's all we have for now, you guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.